Hey, nieces and nephews, it's Uncle Chris and Jay. We with have, my yeah, with your dimples. We have a surprise M2 food pantry haul. The church was giving away bags of meat, a meat haul. So check this out. Look and see what we got. It's amazing. Kaboom. Look, nieces and nephews, we're going to start from left to right. As usual. Mind you, if you take a look outside, it's like 10 o'clock at night. I know. <laughs> now, look. It's a little surprise. We have a whole bag of leg quarters. Also, if you look closely, what does that say? 10 pounds. Yeah. That's enough to feed a whole family of yeah, five for a yeah. day or two. Then we got You're not some mashed this. potatoes. Some mashed potatoes. Look, home style mashed potatoes. I ignore that. We have, Doo -doo -doo. look at this, a beef roast, Angus beef. Now, also, we got some premium beef frankfurters. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Just look at this. And last but not least, oh, some bacon and white uh, cheddar mac bites. These actually don't taste bad at all. No. They're delicious. No. Now, what we're going to do tonight is have a little snack. Well, <laughs> I'm going to show you a recipe in the crock pot. A quick and simple, easy meal. Okay? All right. Now. Here's a quick little pan. Some chicken, mashed potatoes, some beef frankfurters, some roast, and a little snack. Ta -da! Let's go and... Get the crock pot set up because Ooh, right now I can't wait. I'm trying still, to keep my voice down. We're still we're still we're still doing construction on Uncle Chris's bathroom. Yeah, you and the you kitchen. See. <laughs> now, come on in the bathroom, and I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. Follow me. Ooh. Mind you, it's only about thirty to forty percent done. This is how it starts. Look at this tile, y'all. We're gonna have a niche. Some luxurious tile. And wait, if I can find it. Oh, I don't think it's in here. Just look at oh, this yes, tile. Is. This is what we're gonna have. As an accent tile. Yes, yes, yes. Now. Nice. I've given you a sneak peek of the bathroom innovation. Let's go in the kitchen. And continue the recipes. And continue the recipes. All right, we're ready to start our dish. This is gonna be a simple, simple recipe, but it's gonna make the meat very, very tender and delicious. Now, <laughs> first of all, I got three stalks of celery. I've got one large onion. A little skin on there. Off. Blech, we and don't want skin. Now check this out. This green pepper got frozen in the refrigerator. It's still good. You can use it in the recipe, it's all right. It's not I'm, bad. No, even though it's like, it's my shit. No, it's all right. We it's want the all, flavor for it. It's all weird and wrinkled, believe me. Yeah, you want okay. weird and wrinkled. That's okay. You still I'm don't want it? the seeds though. No. So, we have our little roast right here, as you can see. We have the onion and the celery and our spices. Now. Bah. Now. You poured water on my side. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna slice these up. Be careful. Into slices. Doesn't matter about the water because this is all gonna cook down in the crock pot, okay? We've got some, this is just for flavor now. Sorry about all the movement, guys. Now, I'm going to chop up. One large white onion. One large white onion. I'm going to give it a rough chop, okay? We're going to chop up our celery. Chop off the part we don't need. The celery not only adds flavor, but a lot of other things. It adds a salty taste. Without, num, num, num. It adds a salty taste without adding extra salt. <laughs> All right, I got all my veggies chopped up. I rinsed my beef roast under water until 
All the bloodiness was rinsed out. You want that black off. Yes. I've got some garlic powder. Oh. Onion powder. Black pepper. Yes, I'm using some salt, but I'm using pink Himalayan salt. Which is better. Yes. And I'm not using that much, but you, in this case, you do have to use a little. Otherwise, now, it's not going to taste that good. I'm we put it in the crock pot. Put this in the crock pot. Ooh, that was a nice big fat load. <laughs> now, I'm going to put my seasonings in. Look at that. About a good teaspoon of garlic powder. Oh, excuse me, onion powder. Teaspoon of garlic, but you gotta be careful because in the crock pot the flavors are intensified. I'm putting in. The crazy thing is, the crock pot does all the work for you. That's a wonderful thing. <laughs> Same amount of pepper. Well, I'm gonna put a little heavy hand on the pepper. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna put. We all like pepper. That's it. A couple you don't twists need and any turns. More. Yep, of the sweet pink, uh, pink Himalayan salt. A couple of the pink Himalayan salt, and then that's it. Now, let's put in our veggies. Ooh, look at that. Slide these on in. Just look at that. Okay, now I'm going to add our water. Now, this already looks like a soup without it being a soup. Am I right, guys? Yep. And there's the water. Also, Uncle Chris, how long does this take to cook? We're going to cook it all night. <laughs> That's the answer, guys. Now, in the morning, I'm going to set this to high. This is going to cook all night on the stove. I'm going to cover it with the uh, crock pot top. And in the morning, it will be done. So by the time it's time to eat, you've got a wonderful tender roast. So with the magic of YouTube, we're going to be in the morning. Okay? Ooh. Wow. <laughs> all right. Through the magic of YouTube, we have now come to the next morning. Look, nieces and nephews. This is how the meat should be. Tender, juicy. Oh, look at that. See how it all cooked down. And it has a wonderful juice around it. You can even take some of this and make gravy. Make a wonderful gravy if that's what you'd like to do. I just like it like this with a little juice over top of it. With some mashed potatoes and a vegetable. Wonderful. You can take the toughest piece of meat. Put it in the crock pot and it will be tender. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed this mini, mini pantry haul and recipe. Now, we've got a lot more coming. Remember, we want 5,000 subscribers. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, Fragile Flower, how you doing? Hello, Miss Nevermind. <laughs> oh, so, we have more videos coming up. Uh, we've got a live Q&A coming up. I will let you know when that's happening, okay? It'll be a live Q&A with a mukbang. So, that's how you say mukbang. Anyway, all right. Like, comment, subscribe, and big love from Uncle Chris.